Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So Coach Rob just texted me. He's on his way in. He found some rackets in his closet from years ago. They're pro staffs and they're new. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is from my coffee club, Nick A. Nick is hooking me up with my French roast today. So Pete's does this thing where they have, they feature a specific roast uh, per the month. And this month it's French roast. I feel like I haven't had this since last year, about this time. Um, but one of my favorites, French roast. Who doesn't like a nice French roast, right? All right, thank you, Nick A., for hooking me up and being part of my coffee club. If you want to be part of my coffee club and hook me up with one coffee per month, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Or just buy me a coffee. If you want to hook up the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. Cheers to you guys. Thank you guys so much. Mm. That French roast is really, really good. So Coach Rob texted me this morning and said, I'm on, I was cleaning out the closet and um, I found a bunch of old ad staff rackets. So what that means is since he's a teaching pro and he is part of the Wilson advisory staff, he gets a package from them every year. A couple rackets, maybe some ad staff clothes, uh, bag or shoes, maybe both sometimes, some strings, some grips, and kind of on a yearly basis since he is a um, teaching pro. So he said he found some pro staffs from, I don't know, 12 years ago, 13 years ago or more, and he's bringing it in to show us. All right, so let's wait for Coach Rob. Hey, Harry. Hey, Coach you know, Rob. How are you, man? All right. What? Look what I found in the closet. Buried in the closet. Whoa. That's, what the heck? Hyper, that... hyper pro staff with a warranty registration card. Don't leave home without your warranty. <laughs> oh, wow. Brand new. 6-1. Remember this one? Is that a 90? 100. Oh. <laughs> I would have been more happy if it was a 90. No wonder it's still in the bag <laughs> in the garage. This is a four and a half. Now, Coach this Rob. one, I'm glad I found. Oh. The Fed. The Fed. The Good Fed. The Good Fed. Four and five eighths. Five eighths. Look, five eighths. All right, let's talk about this one that's not so good. Um, the six one ninety five, six one. I see. Want to say six one ninety five? It's a six one one hundred. With which must have mean they didn't have the ninety five, and I clicked the hundred or something, or they shipped me that instead of the ninety five. So unstrung weight on this is ten one. Whoa. A while back. I think this is the one I was complaining about that they shouldn't have made. Probably. Hang, hang on to that one for a sec while I go to the wall. I'm, I'm guessing I didn't love it because I, I, I never bothered to string it up. I think there's no love. It is the signature series. Signature? Whose signature? It just <laughs> says signature series with a, uh, with a uh, Fed logo on the front. Of the placard. Okay. Hmm. I'm looking for that new hundred. I don't even think it's that light to tell you the truth. That thing is like ultra, 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 ultra light. Oh man, I don't have it. Darn it. I don't have it. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, since I don't have it, 
we can just talk about how bad it is. <laughs> okay, so this racket made no sense when it came out. Um, now that I look at it again, look, there's a tapered beam in this. Mm -hmm. So it's wider here. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can tell. 10-1. 10-1, <laughs> seven points had light unstrung. They even made it longer. Just like pile up the worseness here. But it does have the BLX. Tie, pile up the worseness here. All they had to do was just add countervail and it would have been like four <laughs> stacks of bad. <laughs> <laughs> this was before countervail. Yes. I think that's how long it's been in the exactly. closet. Exactly. So BLX wasn't wonderful either. So BLX was basalt, like volcanic ash. Right. Yep. Um, I think we sat through a, a seminar on that. So I think I fell asleep through that one. Um, but we it, 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 it had to have stayed with you because we remembered it today. Yeah. Remember how bad it was. <laughs> so control spin is what they were touting back in the day. Um, what do you think you want to do with this? Um... Put it back in the closet. <laughs> Does anybody out there want it? I want to buy it. Uh, I'm not sure um, now that Harry has talked so highly of it. Um, well, I'll, I'll hold would... it here. If anybody wants it, I guess let me know. And uh, we'll, we'll. It is brand spanking new. We'll, we'll sell it to you somehow. Uh, let, let's move on to some good or better stuff here. Let's, let's get this fed. Or, yeah, let's get that one. Either one. Six one. Okay. So this, from what I remember, ain't bad. 6195 this was a pretty good series pretty good um color the hyper carbon people did like and uh, let's take a look at the uh, placard here 1618 pattern on this guy might even show them the back placard oh where, that's where right we talked about one time guys we talk about this all the time and like their wilson numbering system the lower the number the more power it has therefore the shorter the swing you would have or you know would look like so that what is in this guy's hand is a uh, sledgehammer <laughs> and so for those of you who want more power 2.0 to 3.5 possibly up to 4.0 is what you're looking for medium power is 4.0 to 5.5 see the guy with the longer swing Right, and then the the full swing, right? Low powered racket, six point one, which is this one. So essentially six point oh to eight point oh. Coach Rob, I don't remember an eight point oh being in the line, but uh, I I don't either. But it does say fast swing here? Okay, so fast long swing right. is what this is uh, meant for. What was the um, we, we were using the old um, like the. Uh, Seven five. The seven five. So maybe that's why the they Steffi? just went to eight, right? Yeah. So, yeah. what you want to do with this one, Coach Rob? Should we string it up? Uh, maybe somebody else out there might really <laughs> enjoy. Is longing for a brand new one of these. Okay. In a uh, four and five eight grip. Four and five eight grip. I think the, I think you got people until the five eight <laughs> grip part. <laughs> well, I, that was the grip size of the day on my yeah. hand. You know. All right. All if right. it was small, my hand it kept turning in my hand. All right, so make us an offer if you want it. Um, link is below. <laughs> and, of course, the good fed. Yes. In a 5 8 grip. This is about 10 years old now, I feel like. Is there a year on this thing? What was the year he won? Um, if we look oh, yeah, over here look on the board. If we look up on the board, 2015 U.S. Open. Getting close. So would that be? This is 2015. There it says go. right there on oh, okay. Wilson. I don't know if you guys can see it on the bottom. So, this is the first rendition of his him switching to a 97, uh, thicker beam, more of a powerful racket for his game. It took him a year before he kind of got used to it and was able to win a slam with it. So. What are we going to do with this thing, Coach Ross? I'm keeping that one. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, maybe when it rains again, we can uh, customize it to uh, go Fed style. You want me to set it up for you? It would be fun to have one. Okay. I mean. That's easy enough. It's been can, sitting in the. I can fed it up for you. That would be awesome. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'll hang on to this. Actually, Sorry, me... anybody out there who really wanted a 5.8. <laughs> yeah, we're not selling... Well, you, you probably don't want a 5.8 anyways, so... Do we not get that grip <laughs> size? There was a lot of us back in the day. Andre the Giant, still alive? Who else My got hand's big not hands? that big. Who else got big hands? This is a 5.8 from back in the day, right? W these rackets nowadays... Let's just grab this off the shelf. This is feels pretty big. Okay, I don't know what grip size it is, but tell me how different that is relative to my old 5.8s. Ouch. Oh. So this is definitely smaller. Yes. But I get what you're saying. Um, this, this to me feels like a half, and it's a 3.8. This to me feels like between a half and a five eighths. I mean, let's let's take the measuring tape. Well, yeah, let's let's see. I, I think I think we might have. I think people can't measure somehow in the factories. I understand. Yeah, I know. It, it's they're they're doing metric system versus whatever system versus whatever system. I think America we like to go like inches, and I think everywhere else goes by a different system. Uh, is it millimeters or centimeters or I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I know what you mean though. Okay, right there. Pull in tight. <laughs> okay. Now, Let's yes, rub. we have the plastic on. But that's okay. I'm pulling real tight. What does that say? So, isn't that four, four and a half up to four and five eighths? That's five eighths, eights right? That's five eighths. Okay, so right. we just proved that this is five eighths. Thank you, Wilson. <laughs> okay. Now, can we prove that this is 3 eighths? I'm going to go to the flat side of the bevel again and pull tight. This is... Ugh, I'm pulling as hard as I can, guys. That's as tough as I get. What is that? Does that not look like four and a half? That is a half. Thank you. Okay. How That's about let's, let's measure a Wilson four and a half from whenever this was made. Okay, let me throw this back. I'm glad we're doing this because there's been way too many times where I'm grabbing rackets that are. Is this supposed to be a half? Yep. A little less than a half. A little Just less. a little. Right. I mean, yeah, that's a little less than a half. Yep. So hang on to this real quick. All right. I'm going to grab one more test. I got a Rafa here with me. This says half. It says half. Let's see if it says five eighths. Wow, it's bigger than a five eighths and a half. What is, damn. Whoa. That's bigger than a half. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. I think there's just a lot of mismeasurements out there. <laughs> right. So what I've been saying to people that I, when I send them into you, I said, grab some different grips and, and check the sizes. Even if it says a half, hold it. And if it is, is a really big half or a really small half, don't just go, it's a half and grab it and go. Just make sure you put it in your hand. Right. And it feels what, what, whatever size it is you think you're getting. Right, yeah. It ain't true anymore. Right. I'm not saying you got to come in with a measuring tape, but. <laughs> it ain't true anymore. <laughs> it ain't true on the, on the tag. And uh, it ain't as true from back in the day. All right. There seems to be some. You know what? I, I mean, got... I don't know if they're taking into account the plastic, which the plastic, the plastic not that it, thick. It, no, exactly. But <laughs> we just proved that with the plastic on that it's the right. Right. You know? So I don't know if they're measuring with the plastic off without the grip on. I don't know where they're making their measurement mark from. I I've, I got another gripe. I have a nine year old, and and she sucks in math because they're not teaching it right. So maybe that was my problem. <laughs> So I don't know what they're teaching, but it ain't math. It's some kind of, um, you choose the right path to the answer is what they're doing. And I guess Creative there's math. more than one way to skin a cat. There's only one way to get to the answer. I don't think kids need options. 
I think you should just, you know, two times two is four. Man, we don't need to count like four things and say it's four and then taking 10 years to get to the answer four in different ways, you know? And then you test them and make them remember and do it as fast as you can. Do, do, do. Well, let me think which way I want to do it. Okay. <laughs> and there's your math public service Tell message for today. Tell me the freaking answer is four. All right, Coach Rob. I will customize this for you. And Thank you, Harry. we will, uh, maybe we'll resume and see if, how it plays. Because I do have a three-eighths one in the back. I wonder if... And what's uh, the Fed one? Is his a half? His is a three-eighths. A three-eighths. With an overgrip. Over, with an overgrip. I should know that, but... So should we overgrip yours, too? No. Really? It's too big. We're gonna play. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to keep the leather. Uh, yeah, let's we're gonna keep, keep the leather. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, we uh, we should if we're gonna go true fed, put the overgrip on. Okay, okay, okay. So I'll make a game time decision on this one. Okay, okay, all right. You Very do good. you do you, Harry, I'll, and I'll, I'll, I will. I'm always happy with the result. Okay, beautiful. All right, Coach Rob, thank you for bringing these rackets in. I will start um, working on this one, and we will hold those until somebody. Uh, gives us an <laughs> offer. Anybody? Bueller? Can I see that? <laughs> Can I see that red racket again? <laughs> so here's the thing, guys. My guess is when I peel this off, that all this will come off too because it's so old. Yes. So th that's been in the closet in the garage, and if the rats hadn't gotten into the garage, they might rackets may still be there. But I had to go through and look through stuff to make sure. The rats on the other side of the door. Well, at least the and rats outside. didn't chew it. Uh, yeah, I'm already <laughs> out a few hundred dollars because of that rat. Don't Mickey Mouse in the house. Okay. Mm. Uh, so yeah, guys. So this is probably not going to survive us ripping off this plastic, or right. if you guys decide to get one, get it. Uh, this one looks might be okay from what I can see. Right. The reason I can tell on this one is you can see that. The plastic is now part of the grip because it looks wet underneath. So it's kind of become one. This one is not as bad. And this, I don't know how this leather is going to hold up, but we'll do the peeling and the unveiling of it uh, once I mod it up for you. Cool. All right. Thank you, Harry. Coach Rob, thanks for sharing. And thank you to the rat that came into your house so that we can get these rackets right now. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Oh! Uh, I, I got you, Rob, buddy. Look, I got you, Rob. Oh, man. Uh, I got you, Rob. I got you, Rob. Thank you for, thank you for the weekly lesson, dude. Oh, I got you, Rob. I got you, Rob. I got you, Rob. Now, if you want a patient pro just like Coach Rob, hey, play your court is the place. The, your pro can come to you, right? They can come out to your site. All you need to do is go to playyourcourt.com. You can even get a discount there. Playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin. Harry, are you sure you're right-handed?